Welcome back for another video. This is a Cora training update and I'm super pumped about it because we just finished this up and uh, she rocked it. This morning I tried to film this video and we just had a really bad off morning but it happens. I adjusted myself because over the past few weeks we've been kind of running into some roadblocks of sorts. So I've been pushing her too hard. I've been stressing about it too hard and I've been pushing her too far of a distance when we're doing some retrieves. So over the past few weeks, we've been continuing our work with Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy. I'm in the 52 plus program and uh, we're on about halfway through the program right now. We're on, this is 25 and 26 in Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy. And um, I don't really know what week of training we're on here with us, it probably says in the title. But anyways, uh, if you wanna check out Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, there is a link in the description check it out it'll save you 50 bucks if you do sign up tons of great resources there's actually some free ones on there too so make sure to check that out as well i made some adjustments with my training and my attitude and everything like that and we've grown together this week we um we're struggling we kept struggling we kept grinding it out and eventually stuff clicked and uh, the pup has now reached a point where I'm happy with where she is. We're gonna continue pushing through. So over the past few weeks, we built up her drive. We built up our um, fundamentals of lining and it's gone fantastic this evening. So on this video, I'm gonna actually be doing a voiceover because I feel like sometimes when I'm filming these videos for you guys, and I'm talking to the camera, it throws us off, it throws her off and she's just not completely focused. So I basically just set the camera up let it roll and record what we were doing and uh she kicked butt this evening it may not be super far retrieves but we'll get there we'll build distance on later right now we're working on the fundamentals of out and back straight line out and back and uh working on how she holds her bumper and marking in cover so we covered a lot today so stay tuned so here is the first drill that we've been running. This is a lining memory. And so this is basically getting her to run in a straight line to the bumper. So we've been pushing our distance out. This one's probably about 50 yards or so. And you can see her here, I didn't heal her back or anything. Um, I've been doing that in previous sessions, but on this one, we just kind of let her do her thing and burn some energy and be happy and excited for this. So, um, I wasn't super hard on her today with obedience. I wanted her to be successful from the retrieving aspect. So I kind of kept things as light as possible today. And that really made a big difference in this session. So get her on the place board, line her up and send her to that bumper. Takes a good line. This is the drill that we had been struggling with the most over the past few weeks, but we finally crushed it. And, uh, Good We've got girl. the hang of it now. Good girl. Sit. Good. Drop. Good girl. You. Come on. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. But you can see how I'm just amping her up with uh, all the puppy talk, telling her she's a good girl and all that. And, uh,. That's really made a big difference in this session. She's all happy and excited and ready to go. And she gets right on the place board, lines right up, sits right down. Off we go. Here. Good job. Good girl. Yeah. The thing I was most excited about is on both of these lining memories, she had a Good perfect job. hold and that made a huge, huge difference. So right here, I'm working on her hold, take it out, grab, have her Good grab it again. Girl. So this is the next drill, similar to the last one. These are 180 lining memories. So instead of one bumper, we're doing two. So we walk one direction in a shorter distance, drop it. We're gonna walk back the other way, kind of go the same distance on the other side of the board, drop it and then send her. But she's kind of occupied with this stick that she found. Normally that would derail us. I just kind of kept it light and that made a huge difference in our training session today. Yeah, you like that? You like that? Come on. Ah, good girl. Good job. 
Good job. Drop. You. Heel. Mark. Heel. Good. So we got two bumpers out. We're going to center on this one. If you guys can see, we are working in a lane. Yesterday I went out and weed whacked this lane out here, and that made a big difference because previously we trained out here without a lane cut down in there. Like we got tall stuff on the both sides, but having that little bit of difference in grass, grass height where we're working has really helped us excel. So good. Give me a pep talk. So good. Heel. So we're gonna work on our next drill, which is lining. Heel. So basically, the objective of this is to have her line up for a retrieve on my body. So we're going here and heel here. on the place board, and that way, Mark. if there's multiple birds out, I can tell her which one to go just by Heel. healing her where we need to go. Here. Good hold on that one too. Good job. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Court. Good job. Good hold there Good. too. So I'm pretty pumped about that. We've had a lot of successful nice. retrieves so far in this session. There's a little drill to get her amped up and having fun. It's a fun bumper. I gave her that little thing telling her it's okay to break. So um, we still need to work on that. That's pretty new. We just started doing this. And uh, she's in full play mode. This was kind of our sticking point over the past few weeks is play mode with a bumper so here i wasn't super hard on her i told her it's a fun bumper so we had fun with it we're reinforcing that hold so i throw a mark and I probably shouldn't have done this considering how the last one went. She goes out and gets it, and then it's play mode again, but we kept her steady that time. You can see her kind of fumbling that bumper around, and that's when things kind of go south on those retrieves. So I didn't sweat it. We kept it fun and light, got her to come back to the place board. We we're going to readjust that hold once she sits. So hopefully over time with those small corrections telling her no, hold it here on this spot on the bumper, it makes a difference. Now this is the last drill we did for the day. It's marking in cover. And this is a relatively new skill for us. It's pretty thick stuff. Boom, she just runs right in there. But uh, we actually had a few reps before this, but I went back to the camera and realized that it was, um, I didn't hit the record button. So. This was kind of pushing it. I just wanted to get a rep on camera. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Cora. And if you're excited to see her hunt, leave me a thumbs up. I'm super pumped about how this session went. I relaxed. I was so uptight in some of my previous sessions. And I completely came in with a different attitude today and loosened up. And just let it be. Let her be a puppy. I got on her level and she rocked it so i'm gonna start doing that more and uh, pretty much every session actually that's our new thing we're gonna just kind of get on her level keep the energy up keep on her pace and let her be a puppy because over the past couple weeks i have not been treating her like she's a puppy i've been treating her like she's been a gun dog for seven years and uh looking for some higher standards so yeah 
Uh, if you want to check out Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, there is a link in the description. Check it out. It'll save you 50 bucks if you do sign up. Tons of great resources. There's actually some free ones on there too, so make sure to check that out as well. But that's it for today. I'm happy. I am a happy, happy, happy dog trainer right now. So uh, stay tuned. We're gonna have some more Cora videos coming out and we're getting very, very, very close to uh, seeing her hunt this season. So I'm getting excited about it. So stay tuned guys and I'll catch you on the next one.